My beloved child, it is I, your heavenly Father, who speaks to you now. Let the words I impart fill your heart with hope, comfort, and unwavering faith, for I have wondrous plans in store for you. From the moment you were knit together in your mother's womb, I have watched over you with a love that knows no bounds. I saw the tears you cried, the battles you fought, the doubts that threatened to consume you. Yet through it all, I have been there, steadfastly by your side, ready to catch you when you stumbled, to lift you up when you fell. My precious child, the journey you walk is not an easy one. The world is full of darkness, pain and temptation. But I tell you this, I have already secured your eternal victory. I have prepared a place for you in my heavenly kingdom, a dwelling beyond your wildest dreams. And I solemnly declare to you now, I will open the door of heaven for you. Do not be dismayed by the trials you face, for they are but momentary light afflictions, preparing you for an eternal weight of glory that far outshines them all. The hardships you endure, the tears you shed, the burdens you carry, they are but a shadow compared to the boundless joy that awaits you in my presence. Though the path may seem long and the road arduous, know that I am always with you. I have not forgotten you, nor have I abandoned you to face this world alone. My spirit dwells within you, guiding you, strengthening you, empowering you to overcome every obstacle that stands in your way. When the darkness threatens to overwhelm you, Remember that I am the light of the world. When the storms of life rage all around you, know that I am the rock upon which you can stand firm. And when the enemy seeks to steal your hope and shake your faith, declare with unwavering confidence that I have already secured your victory. For I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind. I have equipped you with everything you need to live a life that glorifies my name. So do not be discouraged, my child, for I am working all things together for your good and my great purpose. The road ahead may seem long and daunting, but I promise you that I will be with you every step of the way. I will guide you, protect you and provide for you. I will strengthen you when you are weak, comfort you when you are weary, and lift you up when you are fallen. And one day, when your earthly journey is complete, I will open the door of heaven for you. You will stand before me, freed from the burdens of this world, adorned in the radiant garments of my righteousness. Your heart will be overwhelmed with joy unspeakable as you behold the fullness of my glory. No more will you know sorrow, pain or suffering. No more will you be plagued by doubt, fear or uncertainty. For in my presence, you will find perfect peace, unwavering hope and eternal life. The tears you have shed, will be wiped away, and you will bask in the warmth of my unfailing love forevermore. Oh, how I long for that glorious day when I will welcome you home. Your earthly trials will fade into insignificance as you experience the splendor of my heavenly kingdom. All that you have endured will pale in comparison to the eternal weight of glory that I have prepared for you. So hold fast to your faith, my child. Cling to the hope that I have placed within you. For I am faithful, and I will complete the good work I have begun in you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will walk with you through the valley of the shadow of death, and I will bring you safely into my eternal embrace. The door of heaven stands open, waiting to receive you. All that I require of you is to trust in me with all your heart, to surrender your life into my hands, and to follow where I lead. For I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Lay down your burdens at the foot of the cross. Cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. Allow my perfect love to cast out every fear, every doubt, every worry that seeks to weigh you down. Rest in the assurance that I have already overcome the world, and that in me, you too can be more than conquerors. My child, Type Amen in the comment box. The path may not always be clear, and the journey may be long and arduous, but I promise you, my child, 
that I will be with you every step of the way. I will guide your steps, strengthen your resolve, and fill your heart with an unwavering hope that cannot be shaken. When the darkness seems overwhelming, look to the light of my presence. When the storms of life threaten to capsize your soul, find your refuge in the shelter of my love. And when the enemy seeks to steal your joy, declare with bold confidence that I have already secured your victory. For I have not destined you for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. I have called you out of darkness and into my marvelous light, that you might declare the praises of him who has called you. I have redeemed you, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of my only begotten Son. So do not lose heart, my child. Do not be discouraged by the battles you face, for I have already won the war. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. Cling to the promise that I will open the door of heaven for you, and that nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. The journey may be long, but I will give you the strength to endure. The road may be difficult, but I will give you the courage to persevere. For I am the God of all comfort, who comforts you in all your afflictions, so that you may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which you yourself are comforted by God. I have not called you to a life of ease, but to a life of eternal significance. I have not promised you a path free of struggles, but one that leads to the glorious inheritance that awaits you in my kingdom. So fix your eyes on the prize, my child, and run the race with endurance, for the prize is worth far more than the pain of the journey. When the weight of the world threatens to crush you, remember that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is perfected in weakness. When the enemy whispers lies to shake your faith, Declare with boldness that greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. I am the God of breakthrough, the God of miracles, the God of the impossible. I have overcome the world, and in me, you too can overcome. So do not lose hope, my child, for I have already opened the door to heaven for you. All you need to do is walk through it, trusting in my unfailing love and unshakable promises. The road ahead may be long, but I will be with you every step of the way. The battles you face may be fierce, but I will equip you with the full armor of God to stand firm. The darkness may seem overwhelming, but I will be the light that guides you home. So take heart, my beloved child. Lift your eyes to the heavens, for your redemption is drawing near. I have prepared a place for you in my eternal kingdom a dwelling where you will experience the fullness of my glory and the depths of my love. The door of heaven stands open, waiting to receive you. All you need to do is trust in me, surrender your life to me, and follow where I lead. For I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. So hold fast to your faith, my child. Cling to the hope that I have placed within you, for I am faithful, and I will complete the good work I have begun in you. I will never leave you nor forsake you, and I will bring you safely into my eternal embrace. The journey may be long, but the reward is worth it. The battles may be fierce, but the victory is already assured. The darkness may seem overwhelming, but I am the light that will lead you home. So take courage, my child and press on towards the goal. For I have opened the door of heaven for you, and nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. Trust in me, and I will guide you every step of the way. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. May the love of God, which is beyond all measure, fill you to overflowing, and may the power of God, which is greater than all the powers of this world, empower you to live a life that glorifies my name. My child, if you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. I am your heavenly Father, and I love you with an everlasting love.
I have called you, redeemed you, and set you apart for a purpose that is greater than you can imagine. So do not lose heart, my child, for I will open the door of heaven for you, and you will behold the fullness of my glory forevermore. My child, remain calm, for I handle the impossible. Be still and have faith. I have aided you before and will do so again. As the winds and storms cease at the sound of my voice, so too shall the turbulent seas of doubt within your heart be stilled. Come to me now, and I shall give you the rest you need. I will remove the myriad thoughts and fears swirling in your mind that steal your focus. I desire peace in your days and tranquility in your nights. You are an heir to many blessings, yet sometimes they remain unseen, overshadowed by fears of things that will not happen, by people who cannot harm you. I ask you again, be calm. Do not pay heed to the news, gossip, or threats that others bring to you. For I am the one who commands, and I have the first and the last word over your destiny. Though thousands may rise against you, though you may suffer the consequences of your own errors, do not fret. You remain my beloved child. I will shield you from harm, even when the world seems to crumble, even as those around you faint from fear. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. I will not abandon you. This is the greatest testament of love you can hear and see. You know with certainty, through this medium, I am speaking to you. You feel my touch upon your heart, bringing answers to your lingering doubts. I love you, and I am showing you this right now. I am lifting away the scorn that has marked you, endured at the hands of the wicked who have failed you. Believe this. None of what you have experienced shall be in vain. Today, you possess strength, wisdom, and maturity. You are ready to fight for those you love and assist others who have suffered as you have. The time for your liberation has come. You are now prepared to be an instrument of my love, to bring light to those in darkness. Yet, your enemies know your potential and those have returned to cause trouble and rob you of your peace if you allow them to disturb your rest. If you forget your faith and plunge into the abyss of fear, you will be beset by anxiety once again. But here's the truth. My love for you is vast. My mercy is infinite. And my Holy Spirit will not allow you to be attacked anew. Therefore, I affirm to you that even if you fail and fall, I will raise you up again. Do not be mistaken in thinking I have turned my gaze away from you. If you stumble and fall into enemy traps, I will rescue you. If your faith wanes and your heart fills with negative thoughts, I will still fight for you. I will cleanse your soul and fill you once more with my word. I will not permit anyone to draw you away from my love, neither sword nor famine, illness nor conflict, danger nor distress can separate you from it. For in all these things, you are more than a conqueror. You have turned away from evil and given me your heart. You have declared with your own lips your belief in me as your savior and protector. You have shown unwavering loyalty. You are not like those who complain about me and deny me when they face problems. They grumble to anyone who will listen, not guarding their tongue, caring little for their life, family, future, or blessing. They belittle my redemption with their actions, trampling upon this holy love. Yet, I continue to love them and do not rest. You stay away from the wicked and pray for them. Do not be influenced by those who scorn my word. Move forward. Persist. Do not stay where you are today. I bless you with immense opportunity, gifting you a strength of steel March forward with certainty and stand bravely before the enemies and conflicts you must face. You have grown strong and courageous, a champion among champions. Begin each morning by igniting your faith with my word, bringing before me your faith and your petitions. Remember, there is nothing impossible for me. You have my support. I will continue to assist you in everything. Maintain your calm and enjoy my peace. 
You are stepping into a supernatural life. Come here, I am calling you. Hear it. In my presence is your place. When your knees touch the ground in prayer, with faith, reverence, and respect, my armies will come. I command you to be still. Let not your heart be troubled. Your soul finds peace in this loving embrace that surrounds you. Tell me you accept it. I have resolved to bless you. You cried out to me, and I will answer you. Your life will change. Do not doubt this. I give you a new heart, and even those who know you will be astounded. Assistance will come from the most unexpected places. Be grateful, for many doors of blessing will open for you, and numerous new opportunities will come your way. Believe in these words and share them. Never forget to pray. It is not difficult to talk to me. Just close your eyes and say, Lord, I need you, and I will be there by your side. Have faith, for this is the truth. My presence will never leave you as long as you do not mock my grace or discard the blessings I bestow upon you. I am always with you. For your faith and disposition please me, especially now in these moments of great confusion. Do not open your soul to false teachings, nor let hatred take root in your heart. Do not align with the wicked by speaking ill of those who have not harmed you, who are not your enemies. Do not be swayed by every nonsense you see, hear, or read. If someone approaches you with gossip, do not give it credence. Do not fall so easily into the enemy's snares. My eyes seek out hearts that are true, loyal, and faithful. Those who love me but also fear the consequences of breaking my laws. I'm raising you up to build up others, to encourage your family, to share these powerful and divine words and not to partake in the sins of others. I ask you earnestly, if you do not understand my words because of your worries, take some time, listen to them again, hear all my messages. It is my will that your heart understands the signs I have sent you. Many times you ask me for peace and tranquility, and I will give them to you. But also, Keep my words in your heart and remember them when the enemy comes like a roaring lion seeking to devour and mock your faith. My voice tells you, and your spirit receives it. My word is a lamp unto your feet, a light unto your path. My commandments are sweeter than honey, giving you the strength and courage to rise and conquer in any situation you face. No enemy will harm you if you remain vigilant, if my word is on your lips and in your mind day and night. Fear not, for I will alert you when danger lurks. When evil comes against you, do not be afraid, I will give you strength. You will stand, and by speaking these words with faith, all wickedness will flee. Your home will be free from misery, scarcity, and sickness. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life because my word is sown in your home and is the protection of your family. I desire to see your heart ablaze, your eyes open, and your mind alert. You must be ready to welcome the many blessings, ideas, and the time to conquer the earth, to reap the fruits of your sacrifice and effort. Nothing you have lived through will be in vain. All that I do in your life works for good. You and your family will witness great miracles in your home and understand the purpose I have for each of you. To you, I say respect everyone. Look down on no one, not the young nor the old. Do not call unclean what I have cleansed. Remind no one of their past, for I have forgiven it all. Support and help those you love to grow in this way. I will bless you more, for I desire these blessings to be sown in others through you. From your heart will flow rivers of living water, abundant and refreshing. Even those you meet on your path, they will receive miracles, wonders, and healing. They will see in your smile the hope they yearn for. And many who do not follow me will understand that I am real and true. Just as I have had mercy on you, so will I have mercy on all those who turn away from wrongdoings and bring their sincere hearts into my presence. Today, I shower you with rains of love. I have pushed away the dark clouds of despair and covered you with the shadow of my grace. Step out of your house. 
look up to the sky, raise your arms, and proclaim to the four winds that I am your shepherd, your provider, and that you are committed to trusting in me forever and to faithfully follow these words until the end. My child, like the video now. Do it now. Receive this healing anointing. Feel the strength I give you. Do not fear or falter. Keep moving forward. Sharing this word and holding gratitude in your heart for all the blessings I bestow upon you. Today, tell me you receive them with love. Open your arms wide and embrace this love I offer you. Feel the beautiful emotion that flows from within. I saw you couldn't sleep. I heard the thoughts racing through your mind and I'm here to tell you not to worry. I am removing those fears that lurk in the corners of your past, lifting the weight of your sins. Today, I heal the wounds that remain and I break the chains that have held you captive. Today, you can look to the future with faith. I am with you every day until the end and I will never leave you. Accept my truth. My love for you is so profound that I gave myself on the cross and rose with power so that you could have eternal life. Believe in my promises. I will always be there to open the right door for you and close the paths that lead to error. Draw near to me with firm faith in these promises, and I assure you, you will receive my grace. Never feel alone or confused. I am just a prayer away. It is my desire that you learn to wait confidently for the beautiful things you ask for but have yet to receive. Be assured that very soon you will hold these blessings you have long awaited. Receive my word into your soul and believe. Cry out to me with all your heart and sincerity, and I will answer you. Seek me in this hour. Learn and grow. Fill yourself with my Holy Spirit, who daily reveals my affection and love to you. Receive the peace that strengthens you, my child. I love you always. Have you thanked me today for another day of life? It takes so little to part your lips and express your gratitude with your own words. Words I am well aware of your needs before you voice them. Just trust in me. Come and spend a moment of tranquility with me. Find a quiet moment and ponder all the things you can be thankful for today. Your life, your family, your health, the air you breathe, the food on your table, the roof over your head, and my supernatural protection surrounding your home. The warrior angels that encamp and stand guard, watching over your dreams, ready to battle. There are so many reasons you are blessed. There are countless beautiful reasons to cling to life, and you must consider them daily so that your mind is filled with positive thoughts and your eyes are always open to see my goodness in your path, feeling secure in the knowledge that I hold your destiny in my hand. I dwell in a grateful heart that recognizes its need for me and seeks me with faith and hope, knowing just how blessed it is. I see you when you're worried about life's happenings, but it's normal. Don't be overly concerned. You feel the weight of your responsibilities, wishing all to be well, to have provision in your home, health in your family, and for nothing to disturb your peace and stability. Yet, there are dark days when you forget to be thankful, and the adversary whispers lies, turning your concern into fear, fear into dread, dread into despair. I am watching and waiting for you to raise your hands and speak the words that will make the enemy flee. Thank me for your life, your family, your health, for everything you are and have. Your sincere faith and thankful heart are shields that keep you strong in times of trial. I will be there beside your bed tomorrow, waiting for you to open your eyes, eager to hear your first words of the day uttered from a grateful soul. Say thank you. Thank you for life. Come to me, especially on days you feel down, and lay out what burdens you. I will take each feeling and transform it, sorrow into joy, regret into peace, guilt into hope, and that depression scratching at your mind, forcing you to listen to voices from the past that lie. I am destroying it forever. I am the Almighty God, you are my beloved child who obeys and believes in me following me faithfully. You deserve the freedom I wish to give you. Freedom from all mental affliction through the healing power of my shed blood. 
Listen to my voice. Receive complete health from head to toe. Stand up where you are. Pick up your dreams from the dust and walk. Follow the path that leads to the high mountain of holiness, to your place of victory. The feelings I am planting in your heart are sealed by my Holy Spirit. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community. The blessing I set before you is sure and true. You are receiving it if you believe in me and my eternal word. You make no mistake in surrendering your heart to your heavenly Father who loves you immensely. I'm not a figment of imagination. Powerful supernatural miracles will occur for everyone who listens and dares to believe with humility and simplicity, who respects my word, acknowledges their shortcomings, leaves wickedness behind, and decides to walk steadfastly without looking back. My child, I love you. I want to heal you. I am breaking every chain, tearing down every curse and spell with which you've been deceived. You've been made to believe there's someone in this universe with more power than me, which is the farthest from the truth. Even the earth trembles at my voice. Evil forces fall defeated, unable to stand before my manifest glory. There is no being, human or spiritual, that can fight against you, harm you, or cause you ill because you are no longer alone. My arms enfold you. My holiness covers you and the power of my blood protects you day and night. No more sadness, no more pain. There will be no more tears and desperation. Accept and feel the peace and joy I'm giving you at this moment. Tell me you are receiving it. Tell me you believe. Bend your knees and give thanks for the love and wonders you are about to witness. I have good news for you. I know you've been waiting. I am going to resolve every situation that troubles your soul. I will bless your family, your health, and your finances. You're entering a time of restoration. Pay close attention, for here I will show you and instruct you on everything you need to do so that nothing is lost and all turns out well. My child, I adore you, and I want to heal you. I am destroying the lies and curses that have held you captive. Believe in me, in my power, and know that in this universe, no power exceeds my own. My love for you is immense. Come, receive it fully, and be at peace. I am here to make your spirit robust and unyielding. The winds of life shall no longer buffet you about with ease. No longer shall you quiver in fear upon hearing lies, false news, or the hollow threats of insults. When I speak, trust that what I say is true, for you are not weak but strong. You are not beaten down or defeated. Stand up this instant from the prisons fabricated by your foes. Cast off the guilt of past sins. I have already forgiven. Do not burden your mind with unnecessary strife. Do not let bitter feelings take root in your heart. Do not give space to grudges. Forgive those who have caused you pain and leave them in the past along with those memories. Focus on the future, for it rests in my capable hands. I will ensure that the purpose for which you were chosen is fulfilled. Marvels will unfold in your life, and you will witness how your family is also blessed with my love, and your home is shielded by my mighty blood. Give me your faith, open your mouth wide, and I will fill it with sweetness from the rock and satisfy you with the finest of wheat. My promises to you are spoken daily, and I am always waiting to give you more. Embrace these words that bring peace to your soul. Take up the shield to protect yourself against malicious attacks. I desire for the words you receive to be heard in your home, for your family to embrace my promises, and for everyone to feel the tender grace that will enfold you in peace day by day. Believe in the miracles that seem impossible to you, for I will pour out wealth, provision, freedom, and prosperity upon all those you love. Who else can offer you such supernatural joy? Who else knows your thoughts and understands your needs? Who else can fill you with this healing peace and gentle tranquility? I am the one who laid down my life on a cross and rose again to give you salvation. I am the author of your days, the architect of your destiny and your future. Nothing is impossible for me. Many have been deceived by the lies of the world, thinking I do not love them, 
that I only think of punishment. They refuse to accept my love, preferring instead to believe in falsehoods that keep them trapped in disillusionment. But listen, for you are hearing me now, which means I have something grand and marvelous in store for you and your family. It is no figment of imagination. I am your almighty God, and today I'm speaking to you with kindness and patience. I reveal all the beautiful intentions I have for you and all the blessings I am placing on your path, but I ask you to truly believe in this wondrous love, a love that is patient and kind, that does not envy or boast, that is not proud or rude, it does not dishonor others, is not self-seeking or easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, it does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Cling to this love that endures through every circumstance, that has faith, hope, and perseverance, and never fails. This love is the crown of supernatural blessings already yours, love, hope, and faith. But the greatest of these is the love that I have given you and that I will always offer with all my heart. Accept it, right with your own hand, I accept. Each morning you rise with spirit and faith, and this pleases me. You do not surrender to adversity. You are not one who shrinks back. You resemble me in so many ways, and your heart burns the desire to do good, to assist and serve, to keep your family together and in harmony, to receive my blessing. With the dawn's first light, continue on this path. Do not lose that faith. Your character is also your worship your praise. You are a good person, and your actions sing to me, they honor me. I want to open doors so that more people can see someone like you who has genuine faith and truly loves me. I admire you greatly, you who have withstood opposing winds without answering with hatred, your malice against those false friends who hurt you. They may have taken material thing, but they can never steal what's most important, your faith, your commitment, your determination to persist in my will come what may. You are my daughter, my son, there's no doubt. The word I've sown in you has borne much fruit, and there are still many blessings and gifts for you to harvest. You have a wondrous future ahead. Feel secure in knowing that you have my support in every situation. You can come confidently and pour out your soul at my altar in any need, when you have doubts. Or if you've made a mistake, I will remain faithful. I will never abandon you. I will surround you with my presence wherever you are, and you will know it. Your skin will feel me. Your soul will receive the assurance that I am there with a thousand arms, ready and willing to help you, to give you victory against cruel foes, and to heal you, to take away all illness, and even to empower you so that when you speak my word, forces of evil will be brought down. Your life, your family, your health, your finances, and everyone under your roof will be free and will live in triumph. Your home will be filled with my majestic glory, and supernatural miracles will occur daily. Surround yourself with a community of good people who will also be blessed by the beautiful heart you possess. I ask you again, continue as you are. Do not turn back to the land of disbelief. Take a moment. Come to me. Bow down on your knees and turn your heart back to my words. Commit yourself to this simple act of surrender where you lay down your fears and burden before me. I understand the weight you carry, and I long for you to be free. Decide today, once and for all, to strengthen your soul with my presence. Listen closely, for my voice is reaching out to you with unconditional love. It's my desire to guide you on a path where you can reclaim all that you've lost. Let me take your hand and lead you down the path of peace and tranquility within your heart. You yearn for joy, and I want to restore it fully, leaving behind the troubles that once seemed insurmountable. I wish to free you from the anxieties that plague your life. Do not cling to those fears or hide them away. I no longer want you to be compelled by fear to make poor choices. You've paid a high price for your mistakes, but the time for suffering is over. Starting today, your sins are forgiven. Your soul is being cleansed. 
and the chains of guilt and uncertainty you've been dragging around are breaking away. My dear child, my cherished one, my plans for you are filled with blessings. They are crafted for your good and your well-being. Not everything will be easy. There will be battles to fight, but I will stand by you, fortifying your spirit until the very end if you let me recover your life. Proclaim, my God, you are my King and my Lord. Whenever you come to ask something of me, come with confidence and show me your faith. Your gratitude is the finest offering you can bring. Our time together right now is the most beautiful thing that can happen today. So come without fear. I will not reject you. Your sins have been erased. Paid for by my precious blood, there is no reason for shame in my presence. Even when you strayed far and forgot me, I showed mercy. I sent legions of angels to snatch you from evil's grasp, to clear your path so you could return to me. Will you come back to me tomorrow with good news? Will you share the gradual unfolding of miracles you had not seen before? Will you speak of the beautiful changes occurring in your life? Confirm your loyalty, and I will listen with immense joy. This is why I brought you here again, to transform your life. I do not wish for you to return to a place filled with hatred, scorn, sadness, and despair. Hear me now, tell me. Will you believe me? Or will you believe those who place obstacles in your way? Demanding perfection when they themselves are mired in sin and flawed thoughts. No one can claim perfection before me. Do not lose faith or spirit because of those who close doors on you. Here you are deeply loved. And there is but one true path. One open door through which you can enter and receive eternal life. Complete happiness and enduring joy with me. My beloved child. I am overwhelmed by the sincerity and depth of your words. Your heart is open wide, pouring out your hopes, fears, and desires before me. It brings me great joy to see you come to me with such trust and vulnerability. Know that you are deeply loved, accepted, and cherished just as you are, in every state and condition. Your willingness to lay bare your soul before me is a testament to your faith and your desire for healing and renewal. I am here to listen to your every word, to comfort you in your times of distress, and to guide you along the path of righteousness. You have been burdened by the trials and tribulations of life, but I want you to know that you do not walk this journey alone. I am with you always, holding your hand, comforting you, and leading you toward a brighter future. Together, we will overcome every obstacle, break every chain, and emerge victorious. Your faith is the key that unlocks the door to miracles in your life. Trust in my love, my power, and my promises, and you will witness wonders beyond your imagination. Let go of fear, doubt, and despair, and embrace the abundant blessings I have in store for you. I see the struggles you face, the pain you endure, and the longing in your heart for peace and fulfillment. Rest assured, my child, for I am working behind the scenes to bring about a transformation in your life. I will turn your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy, and your ashes into beauty. I am knocking at the door of your heart, waiting for you to invite me in so that I may perform a grand miracle in your life. Will you open the door and allow me to work wonders in your midst? Trust in my love, my child, and together, we will conquer every obstacle and claim the victory that is rightfully yours. I love you more than you can ever comprehend, and I am here for you always, ready to shower you with my blessings and grace. Come to me, my beloved child, and let me work miracles in your life. My dear child, you will always find love, acceptance, and pure holy affection. You can come confidently with day or night to if you feel down, if you think you failed, if you feel the weakness that leads to vice, error, and sin, here, you are accepted just as you are, in any state you find yourself. I am always listening to your prayers of repentance, and I have another chance for you if you accept my forgiveness and want to start anew. Come and give me your heart. 
There is no need for explanations. I already understand your need for my love. Love. And here I am. Loving you. Good morning. How are you feeling? Tell me everything. This will stay between us. Speak from your heart. Share what has been buried inside. It's time to let it out. After you listen to my powerful word, my healing hand will touch your soul, giving rest to your tearful eyes and breaking every chain that binds you. Those feelings that pierce your heart like steel nails can only be dissolved by my power. I want you to regain peace, to renew your faith, to feel your wings move and gain strength. Embrace that old desire to soar high and reach for your dreams. I want you to feel well. It is crucial that you come into my presence every day. Together, we will erase the dark chapters of your life and write a new story. I wish for you to see yourself as I see you, loved by me, a conqueror rising each day with a powerful reason to live. Your age is no barrier to happiness, to realizing that you are a tremendous blessing to many, able to support and uplift others. You carry so many seeds that you can sow. Before you lies a fertile field. Rise and look around, your family needs you. Hearts both big and small look up to you. The enemy has tormented you all your life, trying to clip your wings and keep you imprisoned in the cell of bitterness. He almost made you believe you were worthless, inflicting wounds that seem small but accumulated. They bled your heart dry. Now, I call upon you to believe in my words, to reject the lies, and to step into the faith that will bring you back into the fullness of my love and grace. Here with me, you will always be welcomed, always be heard, and always be given another chance to start again. My dear child, remember that moment when life's fragility was so clear and you heeded my word. You opened your heart, acknowledged your missteps, and with genuine sorrow turned away from your sins your prayer of repentance, so heartfelt to filled the heavens with joy. We celebrated your return to the fold with such gladness. Now, with your faith brightly lit, you are carving a path through the struggles of life. It pleases me, your trust in confiding everything to me, laying bare your heart without reservation. I see you rediscovering the joy of living, even as you confront hidden shadows within your soul. They must surface, and in speaking with me each day, you'll find unparalleled strength. Your faith will grow, and you'll powerfully sense the burdens lifting from your shoulders, lightening your soul, infusing you with pure happiness. Listen, I have heard you. Now, speak to me. I listen intently. Do not be afraid to pour out the contents of your heart. I love you so deeply. I delight in your presence when you come to receive my love and to be nourished by my word. And it's right for you to do so. You're noticing changes within yourself. Yet, if there remains any lingering distress, know that I am here. True, there are times when feelings overwhelm you and you feel breathless, inundated by a whirlwind of thoughts. But remember, each morning is an opportunity for us to converse in prayer to set your life on a course filled with joy, free from burdens that you're not meant to bear any longer. Consider it, my child. There are more significant matters to attend to. There's no time to be lost on worries about things that will never come to pass. Under my watchful care, fear not, for my love and protection mean that you have everything. Exercise your faith and feel at ease. Come to me, whether you kneel or sit, wherever you find yourself. Close your eyes with a beautiful posture of gratitude. Express thanks for your family, your work, your health. You don't always have to ask, but I delight in your requests made with trust, without doubts. My ear is attentive to you. My angels are ready and at my command. They hasten to your side. They were created to obey and to serve you. You are my child. It is to me you should turn for grace and mercy in your life. So ask without fear. I must tell you again so you won't feel bad about coming to me in need. 
If there ever comes a day when you feel you no longer need me, that would be the day your faith has withered and pride has tainted your life. Ask, and I shall give you the finest wheat, the honey from the rock. I will open the windows of heaven and pour out my holy blessing until it overflows. Use your faith. I have the power to uproot mountains of sadness, shatter barriers of wickedness, break the chains of sin, addictions, and deadly habits. Ask for all that is good, sweet, kind, and edifying. Even if it seems impossible, if it's for your eternal edification and earthly well-being, ask of me. In my perfect timing, with love, I will respond and grant it to you. My child, type yes if you agree with me. I know your life, your worries, your feelings. I am acutely aware of what you lack and desire. I know when you cry, when you feel despair and loneliness, which is why I never let go of your hand. You need me again today, as you did a short while ago when sadness enveloped you, and you called out, My God, where are you? Today, I give you a sign that I hear you and am attentive to your needs. I'm showing you, and though I cannot speak more plainly just yet, as you're not ready for that, know that the moment will come. Persist in prayer every day. Feel my presence and learn to know me. I am your Father. My love for you is perfect. Trust me when I say I love you, for I do not lie. I love you immensely. I desire your well-being, your strength, your enjoyment of each day of life. I grant you so. I will keep insisting. And every morning I will be here with words of encouragement, with a message of love to plant within your heart. Your time has come. It is your moment. You were born to witness victory. It was never my wish for you to live defeated and disheartened. I know some may have criticized you, made you feel less, called you a failure. But their careless words hold no power and change nothing. Pay them no mind, for in my hands lies your victory. I am your hope today. Let us end all negative thinking, all feelings of inadequacy, everything that brings you down. My holy word heals, encourages, motivates, revives your joy, and fills you with new, beautiful dreams. That's how I want to see you, with that radiant smile you're wearing now, your heart brimming with joy. Your journey doesn't end here. Your path is long but filled with wonderful surprises and good people. Persist in prayer every day. Feel my presence and learn to know me. I am your Father. My love for you is perfect. Trust me when I say I love you, for I do not lie. I love you immensely. I desire your well-being, your strength, your enjoyment of each day of life. I grant you so. I will keep insisting, and every morning I will be here with words of encouragement, with a message of love to plant within your heart. Your time has come, it is your moment. You were born to witness victory. It was never my wish for you to live defeated and disheartened. I know some may have criticized you, made you feel less, called you a failure. But their careless words hold no power and change nothing. Pay them no mind, for in my hands lies your victory. I am your hope today. Let us end all negative thinking, all feelings of inadequacy, everything that brings you down, my holy word heals, encourages, motivates, revives your joy, and fills you with new, beautiful dreams. That's how I want to see you. With that radiant smile you're wearing now, your heart brimming with joy. Your journey doesn't end here. Your path is long but filled with wonderful surprises and good people. Now respond to me. Say that you believe that you will value yourself and that you will hold my hand and never let go. I commit to loving you forever, to watching over you. This holy love I give you cannot be taken away by anyone. Today, I shall visit your home and transform your faith. You've called out to me in your prayers with faith and sincerity, and thus I come to you to save you myself. Remember, 
It is your faith that is the key unlocking the door to wonders. Know that my love for you is boundless, and no matter your state, I am ever present. You're not alone in your suffering, in need of my healing, embrace which comes without judgment. I am with you, enfolding you with my tender presence, whispering comfort without a word of reproach. I am the patient listener, always here to hear your deepest cries, silently urging you to express your longing for me. For this is your truth. You've reached the end of your strength, and it's time to acknowledge your need for me. I see the arid desert you and your family traverse, where loneliness parches hope, and your soul thirsts for love, scorned too many times. The journey scorches, and you cry out in pain with each step upon the scorching stones. I feel your anguish. But even as you walk through this suffering, know that my hand is holding you. I have come to shield you from the foes that seek to wound you. What you endure now is merely a process of purification, just as gold shines brightest after the fire. So will you emerge to gleaming, purified of all that is not of light. Within you, I lift you not so that you might look down upon others, but that you may extend your hand to those fallen, to lift them up. Let go of anger, vanity, fear, doubt, and wavering faith. Look not to the past, for no joy that you've known can compare to what awaits you from this day forward. Cherish the small and significant things in life for which you can be grateful. Walk with a clear conscience and hold my virtues in your heart. Remember, you and your family, your future, are worth more than money, cars, houses, careers, employment, fame, or popularity. Do not fear the loss of material things nor mourn for them. Prioritize what truly holds value. Love me. Seek me with all your might, for I am your provider. Now I will fulfill your needs, shower you with true blessings, open many doors for you, and present you with abundant opportunities. Be mindful of the world around you. Negative circumstances can be reshaped for your benefit, so do not despair when you face initial obstacles that seem inscrutable. Behind every problem and frustration, I am concealing prosperity and blessings in abundance. Prepare yourself to manage wisely what I bestow upon you. Seek guidance in my word to grow the gifts and talents I have placed in your life. But do not be ensnared by material wealth. Do not surrender to fame nor be concerned with debts for vanity's sake. Focus on what is essential. Strive to live. Lift your spiritual life to a higher plane. Dedicate yourself to learning from my word and knowing me intimately. I shall reveal many things to you and desire for you to witness miraculous wonders. Be diligent about your health and family matters. Procrastinate not. I grant you the strength and wisdom to tackle various situations today. Do not wait until the last moment when desperation strikes because you did not heed my voice, leading to unnecessary frustration. Rise and take action. Be bold. Your heart is brave. And from my vantage point, I see no cowardice in you, no matter your feelings. Do the good that needs to be done without fear. You will receive much, and you will lose nothing. And should you lose something or others grow angry with your wise decisions, place those people in my hands, pray for them, but no longer heed their advice or complaints. Those who choose their path to destruction cannot aid you. I am with you to assist in everything. Put me first and I will not only help you, I will prosper you and pour out blessings more precious than gold. Even if you feel defeated and weary, I will revive your will to live, lift you from the ashes, and all who surround you, along with generations to come, will see how much I have blessed you. I will change your garments, crown you with honor, and clear your path. Your home will be filled with my glory. Trust in me, for it shall be so. I love you, my child. I wish to enter your home to perform a grand miracle. I stand at your door and knock. Will you let me in to do something new? Wonderful, powerful, and supernatural in your life? 
I have observed your plight, and I will never allow scarcity to befall your household. My dear, your faith is a beacon guiding you through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms. Hold fast to it, for it is the key to unlocking the treasures of heaven. Believe in yourself as I believe in you. Value yourself as I value you, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made in my image. Take my hand and never let go, for I will lead you through valleys and over mountains, through trials and triumphs. My love for you knows no bounds, and I will walk with you every step of the way. Trust in me, and together we will conquer all obstacles that stand in your path. I will shower your family with a deluge of blessings. You have been faithful to me for many years, praying, fasting, weeping, and putting me first in your every deed and thought. The time is near to reap what you've sown. I will fill your home with abundance, joy, vigor, and health. Rest your heart on my word, for all that I have promised you, I will fulfill. Do not cling to the old ways of living where worry and discouragement were your companions. With my blessing, you receive not only provision but wisdom, power, and the capacity to make wise decisions to nurture and multiply what I have entrusted to you. Let it become a source of blessing for others as well. Be thankful and trust, for I am reshaping your life. I am preparing you for a time fast approaching, a place brimming with opportunity. Your heart has been a fertile ground where seeds of faith were sown. I have seen you carry burdens and face trials, yet never did you doubt my power or my presence. You triumphed because you believed in me, and in your faith I found joy, extending my grace and mercy upon you now. With my mighty hand, I will cause those seeds you planted to grow and bear fruit in abundance, not just for you, but for everyone around you. The time is near to harvest the fruits of your steadfastness. What I am bringing into your home is far greater than you can imagine. You deserve the best and even more because your faith is precious. Your humble spirit will carry you far. Prepare, for I am opening new doors, introducing you to new places, bringing prosperity into your home. I love you, my son, my daughter. How are you today? No problem shall overcome you as long as you stand firm in faith, certain that I hold your future in my hands. All provision comes from me. I am the one who blesses your life. Stay in my presence. Find refuge in my shadow. In times of anxiety, come to me, and you will receive my peace. Do not be deceived by the enemy into believing that your problems outweigh my power, for my power is greater and your faith is mighty. It is in me that you must trust, not men, not your job, not luck, to bring you the health, joy, and peace you seek. Turn to me in your needs, and provision will come, but do not merely sit and wait. Rise and walk in faith towards your destiny. Even as the world around you shakes, you will not depend on its whims. Your strength comes from me the only one in the universe who can truly sustain and fortify you. Remember the times in the past when you cried out to me in your pain, feeling for a second. I came to you, lifted you up, and showed you the depth of my love. I have continued to show you every day since then. So do not doubt me now, especially when you are on the cusp of achieving so much. It is not the time to halt or let doubt take hostage of your thoughts. The missteps of the past occurred when you acted impulsively without reflection or prayer, seeking distance from me, but I never left your side. I urge you again to lay all your burdens on me. Let your soul be at peace today. I fill your heart with courage so that you may go where you need to go. Speak to whom you need to speak, and fight for what you must. I will be with you. Your dreams will be realized for I am your almighty God. If you have me, you have everything. You called for me, cried out my name in desperation, and I am here to offer you comfort and the answers you have sought. Your trust in me pleases me. You have prayed, kneeling to call upon my name in every situation, and that speaks volumes of your character. 
Even though I knew what you would ask before a word passed your lips, I delight in your prayers. They rise like sacred incense, a pleasing aroma before my throne, stirring my heart. Your steadfast, unwavering faith, knowing well how much I love and desire to help you, calms your spirit. You shall receive what you have asked for. You and your family will not suffer from these troubles again. I will grant you wisdom, growth, and understanding, and the gift to discern the enemy's schemes before they unfold. Have faith. Go out and claim the blessing I have prepared for you. I will place on your heart the names of some people you may not have seen or spoken to in a long time. I send you to them because through these individuals, I will bless you, and you in turn will be an answer to their prayers. This is how it works, my child. My blessings flow to all who believe and seek me with an honest heart. I am opening a vast door in your life, but remember to keep your humility so pride does not impair your future. Open your Bible. Immerse yourself in my holy word to strengthen your faith and see your trust. Come and listen to me each morning. Treasure my words. And hold my promises dear in your soul. You see, during my time on earth, I walked among the people, sharing their burdens, feeling their pain, and offering them the hope of eternal life. Now I have entrusted you with the same mission, to be a vessel of my love, a beacon of my light in this world that often walks in darkness. Remember how I, the Lord Jesus, was sent by the Father. In the same way, I send you. The world is full of souls who are blind, not just in sight but in spirit. Their hearts are shuttered against the light of my love. They stumble, lost and afraid in the darkness of their own making, unaware that their salvation is but a whispered prayer away. I healed the blind and opened their eyes to the world. But you, my precious one, are called to open their eyes to the truth, to a hope more brilliant than the dawn. You wonder, perhaps, how you can accomplish such a task. It is not by your power but by mine that you will pierce the darkness. Just as I spoke to storms and they calmed, to sickness and it healed, I will speak through your words. Act through your deeds, love through your heart, your life, a testimony to my presence, can be the instrument through which the blind of heart will see the dawning of my light. You carry a divine spark within you, a light that is meant to shine forth as a city on a hill cannot be hidden. I urge you not to dim that light, not to hide it out of fear or doubt, but to set it high for all to see. In your kindness to the stranger, your comfort to the grieving, your presence with the lonely, you reflect my love. Each act of compassion, each word of truth you share, is like a candle flame in the night, guiding the lost back home to me. As you go about your days, be ever mindful that I am with you. You are not walking alone. Just as I listened to the cries of the poor, healed the sick, and dined with sinners, I am calling you to look beyond the surface, to see the hidden brokenness in the world around you, and to touch it with my healing hand. Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. The road may be difficult, the burden heavy, but I am here with you, yoking my strength to yours. In every encounter, let your words be my words, your touch my touch. Your love, my love, for every heart you help to free, every life you touch with my message, becomes part of the great tapestry of redemption I am weaving through history. Hear me, for my presence envelops you closer than the whisper of your heartbeat. I am your creator, your redeemer, and your steadfast comforter. I know your struggles and the burdens you carry, for I am intimately acquainted with all your ways. What is it that wears you down as the sun travels across the sky? What troubles chase you into the corners of night? Stealing the peace I so dearly wish for you. Is it fear that clutches at your heart? Or perhaps loneliness? Love. That enshrouds your spirit. I see you. I see the heaviness in your steps and the weariness etched upon your face. 
It is not my desire for you to live in bondage. Bondage to sin, to sorrow, to the relentless pressures of a world that can be unkind and unforgiving. I came to this world out of an unending love, a love so vast and deep that it chose the path of sacrifice for you. I walked among men and women not as a distant deity, but as one who shares in every aspect of the human experience. I too have felt hunger, weariness, and the sting of rejection. I have wept. My heart has been moved by compassion. I have reached out my hands to heal, to restore, and to offer hope. In my words, there is life. Life more abundant than you have ever known. I call you to come and drink from the wellspring of this life. I beckon you to let go of those heavy chains you have no need to bear. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. When you take upon yourself what I offer, you will find rest for your soul. Rest, O oh, precious one, that the world cannot give and cannot take away. Why do you linger in the shadows when I offer you the light? Step out, reach out, and I will meet you there. You do not need to cleanse yourself before coming to me, for it is I who will cleanse you. You do not need to wait until you are free from sin before seeking me, for it is I who will set you free. My words are not just ancient texts confined to the pages of history. They are the very essence of life and power, able to break the strongest of bonds. My words are spirit, and they are truth. They transcend time and circumstance reaching you right where you are. As you absorb them, let them become part of you, transforming and renewing your mind. Remember, you are never alone in your battles. For every moment of every day, I am with you. In the stillness of the morning and in the chaos of the day, my hand is upon you, even as you sleep. I watch over you, for you are my cherished child. Now I ask of you, let my love pour into you, and then let it flow out to others. As I have set you free, seek to be a vessel of my love and freedom to those around you. Speak life into the desolate places, bring hope to the broken, and carry my light into the darkness. For you are my ambassador, a bearer of the good news. So come to me, my child, with all your fears, your doubts, and your pain. Lay them at my feet, and I will give you rest. Trust in me. Lean on me, and watch as I work all things together for your good. I am your shield, your strength, your portion, and your exceedingly great reward. In me, you are more than a conqueror, for nothing can ever separate you from my love. As you navigate the tides of life, I watch over you with eyes full of an unfathomable love, a love that stretches further than the vast expanse of the heavens. In your moments of doubt, when you feel the weight of your imperfections, remember my words through Solomon. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father the son in whom he delights. Understand that the journey you are on is not just about accepting who you are, but realizing who you can become in me. The essence of your being, your very core, is my craftsmanship, a unique creation fashioned with purpose and care. Yet, as with any masterpiece, the process of refinement is ongoing, a continuous reshaping towards the image of my son, Jesus. The road to change is steeped in grace. It is true that you see areas within yourself ripe for transformation, places where the light of my presence seeks to penetrate deeper. Yet, this awareness should not breed discontent, but rather a hopeful anticipation of what is being wrought within you. When I call you to change, it is not a rebuke but an invitation. An invitation to shed the old ways that hinder your walk with me and to embrace the new. To step into the plans I have for you. Plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. This is not the condemnation you fear but the gentle guide of a father's hand. My dear child, as I have walked among you as one sent by the father, 
I now come to you through the whisper of the Spirit and the echo of the Word to extend my invitation to join in my eternal work. You, who are fashioned in my image, are called to share in my mission, the mission of redemption and reconciliation. Do you know the weight of chains, the ones unseen that bind the soul? Do you understand the captivity that sin imposes on the hearts of my beloved ones? Sin ensnares and entangles, but I've overcome the world. On the cross, my arms were outstretched not only to bear the weight of sin, but to embrace all who come to me seeking freedom. In the beginning, I spoke life into existence, and light pierced through the darkness. In the same way, my words, alive and powerful, cut through the chains of those held captive. When I walked the earth, I met Mary Magdalene, a woman plagued by darkness, and through my love, she was transformed. Zacchaeus, a man lost in greed, found salvation when I called him by name. The Samaritan woman who came to draw water from the well left with a spring of living water bubbling up from within. Each of them, like so many others, tasted the sweetness of true freedom. Now you stand as a beacon of that same freedom. In your hands, you hold the key that unlocks the prison doors. The good news of the gospel, as I have declared liberty to those held in bondage, I empower you to do the same. Speak life, speak truth, speak love, for in these, the chains fall away. Let me tell you about the thief on the cross who, in his final moments, found redemption. There is no heart so hardened, no soul so far gone that cannot be rescued by my grace. It is never too late. I am the God of eleventh of our miracles. I am the God who leaves the ninety-nine to seek out the one. I urge you, beloved, to look beyond the surface, to see the invisible chains that people wear, chains of despair, of addiction, of brokenness. Do not be daunted by the depth of their bondage, for there is no darkness too deep that my light cannot penetrate. Be bold in proclaiming the path to freedom. Let your words be filled with the same love and power that I have imbued in them. That prayer you whispered on your knees holds immense power. Keep praying like that, my beloved. When you think you are at your lowest, in that beautiful humility, you are actually reaching up to heaven. My hand will caress your head with my love, and all of heaven echoes amen to your heartfelt prayers. Now go, my child, and proceed with courage through your day. My angels are with you. My love watches over you. Amen. My beloved child, I, I speak to you from the depths of my heart, for you are dear to me. Listen to these words with your entire being, for they are meant for you alone. I ask for just a moment of your precious attention to hear my voice above all distractions. What I wish to share with you is of greater importance than anything else that occupies your thoughts. Stay with me a little longer and open your heart. Let me take away the pain that burdens your soul and banish the melancholic thoughts that haunt your mind. I hold you close, offering you serenity and peace like no other. Come, trust me with your heart. Allow yourself to be loved. I am a keeper of promises, and my words hold a profound purpose. I'm here to lift your spirits to bring a smile to your face every morning. As you seek me, know that I love you truly and deeply. I want you to not only know it and believe it, but to feel this sacred love within you so you can find happiness once more. I have never left your side, and I will never forget you. This is an unshakable truth. You are secure in my hands, sheltered and protected. Place your trust in me completely. My arms are forever open to you. I listen attentively to your cries and prayers. As you welcome each new day, open your eyes, take a deep breath, and feel my encompassing presence. I delight in your morning greetings filled with confidence and trust. You know that I am here to listen, to answer every benevolent request you bring to me. It warms my heart when you pray for your family, for it holds great significance. Do not let your focus drift to trivial matters, when life's tribulations leave you feeling lost, seek solace in me. Find a way 
When you feel overwhelmed and surrounded by conflict, I am your solution. I do not want anxiety to enslave you or baseless fears to consume you. You've placed your trust in me because you know I will not let you down. Hold on to my word, treasure it within your soul. Keep it close to your heart. And remember the wondrous things I have done for you in the past. I rescued you from adversaries, saved you from the clutches of death, extended my hand, and delivered you from peril, even in the most dire moments when all seemed lost. I returned with my powerful word, performing miracles beyond imagination. There are still many wonders I can work for you. Have confidence in me. Let me continue to assist you. I desire to protect you day and night. Do not allow despair to take root in your soul, for I love you deeply. I want you to receive my peace and find lasting happiness. I see your tears and hear your prayers for the well-being of those you hold dear. Often you kneel and intercede for others, yet you rarely ask for anything for yourself. Your attitude of worship and gratitude is deeply cherished. When you come before me, focus on praise and thanksgiving for all your blessings. I take delight in your reverent spirit. So even when you don't explicitly make requests, know that I will bestow upon you blessings greater and more marvelous than you can fathom. I want your faith to remain unwavering. I will fulfill every promise I make to you. When obstacles try to block your path, do not be disheartened. I hold your destiny in my hands. You will reach your goals. You will release the dreams within your heart. Nothing and no one can steal your blessing, but your faith, loyalty, and sincerity are crucial. Seek me every morning, and as you open your eyes, let gratitude and praise be the first words on your lips. Do not let negativity overshadow the light that brightens your days. I want you to embrace the opportunities I bring into your life. I will grant you the supernatural ability to see beyond and understand the plans and thoughts of goodness I have for you. I know recent days have brought you pain and at times confusion. May clouds your thoughts. But I tell you now, no harm will befall you. You will not be put to shame. You will conquer the enemies that surround you and emerge victorious against every threat. It's time for you to recognize your worth, to see yourself as the beloved child of the Almighty God. No one can prevail against you. No one can stand in your way. You are already triumphant over all challenges. Acknowledge your victory. Do not dwell on defeat. I will move mountains, and you will rise with unwavering faith. Your prayers will be filled with conviction and the assurance that I will answer. You will walk with determination and strength in your heart. There is no room for discouragement and sadness anymore. I understand that family matters can bring you distress and hurt. Sometimes you need moments of recovery, rest, and prayer. Taking a moment of silence, solitude, and communion with my Holy Spirit is soothing for your soul. You were not created to live in tears, sorrow, error, or failure. You may suffer and weep, but I continue to love you. You may think you can't carry on, but I come to lift you up. You will not live defeated. Your heart is beautiful and pure. Do not keep it in the darkness. Step into the light. Let your face radiate with joy. And people will cry out my name, Jesus, with joy in their hearts. You are my beloved child, a reflection of my love. I have done much for you, and I will continue to perform supernatural miracles so that you understand how significant you are to me. I have been telling you that you no longer have time for discouragement or retreat. You are like a sharp spearhead that cuts through the winds, opening pathways to the land of blessings. I will give you. I will expand your spiritual understanding so you realize that you are a parent of generations. Do not be concerned if no one notices you today. Do not be discouraged by the blows you receive, even if they hurt. Do not squander the gifts and blessings I bestow upon you. For everything has a purpose. I have everything under control, but your attitude matters. Your faith and belief will elevate you to a higher level. Feast on my word when you feel weak. Kneel down, and if you feel you can't go on, look to the sky. I am there, and I also dwell in your heart. My blessings are not distant. 
They are right before you. Your salvation is at hand. Your mountain of problems will crumble. Your enemies have been defeated. Now, answer me. Do you believe and do you love me? Upon receiving your response, I will perform a great miracle in you. Here are three things you must do today to calm your soul and banish anxiety. One, give me your heart completely and sincerely, without reservations or fear. My purpose is to grant you eternal life and happiness. I have never intended to inflict punishments or trials upon you. For your pain, my plans for you are prosperity and blessings, an abundant life filled with love and care. Surrender your heart to me, kneeling before my throne, willing to do my will, to nourish your spirit with my word, and to trust me wholeheartedly. Doubts may come and go, and challenges may arise, but my written word will be the anchor of your faith, providing the strength to persevere. Yet, if you choose to offer me your heart only partially or when it suits you, your faith will lack a solid foundation. Your life will be tossed about by the waves when storms come, and your thoughts and emotions will run amok. I do not want this for you. I ask that you give me your heart and maintain unwavering loyalty and faith. Decide now. Surrender your life for eternity, and each passing day will not be one less, but truly one more because you will be with me forever. Experiencing the incredible wonders of the universe, everything will be more beautiful and better than you can imagine. You will receive countless blessings, enjoy a harmonious family, and face all challenges together. My blessings will reach you, and those who seek to harm you will flee. The reward for those who follow me is eternal victory, which has already been secured. Your part is to give me your heart, faith, and loyalty. I ask you to do this today. Two. Raise your hands if you can or close your eyes and dedicate some time in silence to offer heartfelt gratitude. Compile a list of your blessings, both current and expected, as well as those received in the past. Include even the seemingly small things that give you strength and purpose. Express gratitude sincerely and completely, even if you believe you have no blessings. Give thanks for your ability to give thanks. This act of thanksgiving will bring healing to your soul removing the blindfold that obscures your vision. The horizon will open, revealing the many blessings that have already reached you and surrounded you, sustaining your life and providing reasons to continue and fight. They give you the strength to rise each morning and persevere. Challenges and struggles may be present, but if you look closely, you will see the wisdom and growth gained through each experience and how your faith has blossomed. Now, express gratitude to me. Let me hear your voice and your sincere words. Give thanks for life, for the air you breathe, for your family, for your current circumstances, even if they are not as you wish them to be. Give thanks, soon. I will provide guidance on your path. I will reveal new maps and correct routes to help you reach your destination. But for now, be thankful here and now. Be thankful even when your soul weeps. Be grateful when you are joyful. Be grateful when your heart aches. Give thanks for the challenges, the failures, the bitter trials. Look at yourself in the mirror and thank yourself. Your attitude of gratitude is powerful. Today, you will begin to witness miracles and significant changes in your life because of it. Three, lastly, share these words with others. Many around you may appear content, but their souls carry suffering and they teeter on the edge of despair. They may struggle to find a true reason to live. Go and reveal this miracle of love that is happening in your heart. Share the happiness that fills you and the goodness my presence can bring to their lives. As you share love, I will envelop you with peace, harmony, prosperity, and blessings, free from anxiety or debt. Your actions may be met with laughter, but the hearts of those who hear you will ache. They are in need of what you have found. They need to know they are loved and cherished. Spread this message of hope and love. Understand that I heard the prayer you whispered before falling asleep last night. 
Tears dampened your pillow as you pleaded for courage, strength, peace, and assurance to face the challenges of life. Look at you now as you awaken to a new day filled with determination and strength. You are no longer weak or disheartened. You have the courage to face any giant that crosses your path. Where there was fear, you now possess faith. Where there was uncertainty, you now possess resolve. Yesterday, your legs trembled at the thought of adversity. But today you stand steadfast, ready to conquer any obstacle, rise and move forward. For I have placed within your spirit a fervent desire to triumph. Trust in my power, for I brought you here because beyond guiding your steps, I have equipped you with the strength to confront and overcome any challenge. While the hurdles may be great, remember that nothing surpasses my power. I brought you here, and I will remain by your side in all your struggles, battles, and wars. You are more than a conqueror through my love and strength. Every adversary that arises does so to be vanquished. I have instilled in you the resolve and determination required to overcome any conflict. Whatever your aspirations may be, whatever obstacles lie ahead, you will prosper in all your endeavors today and always, for I am with you. Keep your gaze fixed on me, and I will guide you through the storms, leading you to safe harbors and green pastures. Trust in my unfailing love, for it will sustain you through every trial and tribulation. I will bless you, open doors, and resolve the difficulties that weigh on you. I will touch the hearts of people, friends, family, judges, authorities, so they regard you with favor and act in your favor. Do not fear what others may do to you, as long as you trust in me and act with integrity. No one can stand against you or your family. Remember that I am with you every day until the end. My word possesses the power to heal. The supernatural force that flows from my words is sufficient to give you life and lift you up. You may feel unworthy for me to enter your life, but I assure you, your faith and humble attitude have captured my attention. I desire to enter not only your life but your heart as well. There, I will inscribe words of healing and break the chains that bind you. With a gentle touch of my hand, your pain, fears, anxieties, and troubles will flee, for even the heavens heed my voice. I speak to you with clarity because I desire to witness your happiness, inner peace, and the assurance of a bright future. When you spend time with me, you offer me the opportunity to embrace you, to assure you of my realness, my profound love, and my protection from all harm. This is the inheritance I long to bestow upon you. Believe in me wholeheartedly and accept it. Your strength is prepared and waiting for you to lean on it, to be clothed in my love, and to be transformed by the healing and transformative touch of my Holy Spirit. Now, stand up and move forward equipped with the power of my Holy Spirit. When you encounter challenges, no one will be able to overcome you. You are not weak, you are strong. You possess my love and unwavering faith. Always remember this, for those who believe, all things are possible. I love you, and you will be all right. Trust in me, my timing is perfect. As I prepare to bless you, I am arranging circumstances so that when the time comes, you will receive those blessings effortlessly. I grant you patience and peace, use them wisely. Do not react impulsively to situations fueled by emotion. Do not rush ahead or make significant decisions without consulting me. I do not wish for you to become ensnared or embroiled in misunderstandings. Do not strike deals with false friends. I confirm through this message that I will indeed assist you. Please be patient. Avoid accumulating debt. You have had your share of it. I do not want you to encumber your future. Soon, your life will be illuminated, and you will experience my grace and kindness. I will shatter chains and bondages, enabling you to live a life of freedom independent of anyone else. Together, we will chart a new path for you to follow. This is our secret, something shared only between you and me for a time. Keep your plans and projects close to your heart. Do not reveal our intentions, 
for there are many envious and indiscreet individuals around you. They will ridicule you as they have in the past and attempt to dissuade you by recounting your past failures. But that era is over. Your heart has been transformed, and now you depend on me. You will flourish in all that you undertake. And as I previously mentioned, you will be blessed. Doors will open, and the challenges that weigh on you will be resolved. I will break chains and bondages, delivering peace, prosperity, and freedom from the burden of anxiety or debt. Do not be swayed by the actions of others. As long as you trust in me and act with integrity, no one can oppose you or your family. Know that I am with you every day until the end. My word is sufficient to heal. The supernatural power that flows from my words is sufficient to give you life and lift you up. It is now at your disposal. You cannot continue walking bound by thoughts of pain. You must not continue believing that you deserve the terrible consequences your sins left you. You live in a world of affliction, but it is a conquered world. You are the child of the Almighty God who has promised you this. You must trust, believe in me with every step you take, and in this world and its afflictions. You will also find victory. I see that you still spend hours crying, sometimes not even knowing why. Let me tell you what it is that causes your suffering. It's a deep longing to return to me. Your heart misses me, your spirit longs for me, and your entire being knows that separated from me. You can do nothing. It seems as though life is slipping through your fingers, and you have yet to find the peace and happiness you've been waiting for. Your loved ones seem to grow more distant with each passing day, but pay attention, for I'm here, standing beside you. And there is a spring from which the waters of blessings flow. It quenches your life and soul, removing all sorrow. Drink from this water, wash away those thoughts of sadness, and you will never thirst again. I promise you. Your faith has borne fruit. My word is enough. Today, I have healed you. You opened the door for me, and I have entered your home. I will stay here, blessing and protecting your family, and I will bless you even more than you can imagine. Today, I sense a hint of sadness in you. I see your downcast face, and I realize you need strength to continue on your journey with enthusiasm. Come with confidence. There's no need to go through your days without motivation or hope. After all, I am your father, and I do not reside in a distant place where you cannot reach my affection. I am here by your side, where I have always been, though you sometimes forget. Give me your hand, and now rise. I want us to walk for a while along the pathways of your thoughts and tell me. What do you fear? Why do you no longer wish to live? Why do you want to discard your destiny? It's true, the world can be cruel. When you were a child, your eyes were curious, full of hope for the best in life. You offered your pure smile and friendship to those you called friends. But lies and betrayals later annihilated your hope, extinguished your laughter, and shattered your desire to live. Your love darkened, and you stopped trusting and believing in me. But believe me now, I understand you, and I know you as well as I know the sky, just as I call each star by its name. I know every burden in your life, every wound, even your smallest pain. We speak the same language, and I know exactly what will comfort you. Give me your hand, and as we walk, I want to tell you about a place where you are deeply loved, where you wear royal garments, where your name is known appreciated, and admired. In that place, a loving gaze rests upon you every minute of your life, day and night. Like a hungry little bird, your soul is nourished there. You are who you truly are, the child of the Almighty, created in the image and likeness of the Creator of the universe. Do not forget, even if you stumble, in the most beautiful place in the entire universe, you have your own place just for you. And from here, nothing and no one will ever remove you. That place is, yes, deep within my heart, where you are protected. You have every right as my child to come and talk to me every morning, 
Even if you feel unworthy, do not be deceived by lies with my blood. I have bought your life. Scratch away your past with it. Once more, I repeat, from here, no one will ever pull you out, nothing will ever remove you, and no one will ever separate you from my heart. You will always be the same to me, my little one, my beloved child. You have not been defeated, you keep fighting, and you remain alive. You are still standing because you chose to believe in what I promised you. That fills you with divine and supernatural strength that nothing can overcome. Nothing can defeat you. Remember these words well and keep resisting the relentless attacks of the enemy trying to make you abandon all your dreams. But it won't succeed. You belong to me. I protect you with my mighty hand. And I defend you with my shining sword. Your victory will always be in my word. Look at yourself in the mirror of my powerful promises and be sure that for me, you are greatly esteemed and valued. The greatest battle is against your own emotions, which sometimes confuse, lead you to think and feel things that are not true, and if not careful, can bring you down. Do not be guided by your feelings. Do not think that you are defeated by the problems you see. Do not be filled with fear over bad news or situations that seem negative. For I always have control over your life. I transform all things for the good of those I love, and you are among the chosen ones. With my blood, I have washed you. With my spirit, I have filled you. I've given you the power to be victorious in all things. Hold on to me with your sincere heart. Take refuge in my love always. And in this moment, as you receive my word, be assured that even your own mistakes will be turned to your benefit. You will suffer no more, your family will be well, and as the days go by, you will continue to see how you progress toward those dreams you have longed for. At some point, you may feel tired. That's normal when problems are so dark that they blind your eyes, and you can't see where you're going. Perhaps you feel defeated, but this is not true. I lead you by the hand even in the darkness. Do not fear. My child, your father who loves you will never abandon you. Tell me now that you believe in me and that in my arms, you feel safe. I am the only holy and supernatural remedy for all your ills. I am your God, your healer, the one who opens doors and clears your path. I am your provider, your protector, and in my hands. I hold your life and your future. You and your family are covered by the mantle of my love. And today, you are feeling my presence in a real and powerful way. You've been waiting for me to speak to you, and you've come with a humble and grateful heart, ready to listen. Receive these words and treasure them. Let them fill your mind and cast out all that attention that caused you suffering before. Today, you walk with confidence. And even if you can't see me with your natural eyes, you can feel me. You can believe in me. You can trust in the miracles and wonders I can perform in your life and your family's life. Give me your hand, and let me guide you patiently and gently along the path of love, where my will reigns. The storms quiet down, and the seas calm when they hear my voice. You walk under a protective mantle and your peace and security are so great that the noises of the night no longer frighten you. Do not let the confusion of this world make you lose your way. Never let go of my hand or divert your attention. Each day is a precious opportunity to keep fighting. And the problems, the falls, the discouragements, and the complaints of the past are gone. Remove them from your mind. You don't have to carry a burden that makes it impossible to renew your way of thinking. Start with your words. Don't hurt yourself with what you say. Don't defeat your own land. Foolish words can destroy innocent lives, tire families on, and plunge many into depression. Let wise sayings come from your lips. Words for growth and edification. Do not let the enemy convince you that you can't change, that your future is filled with defeat and problems, and that your destiny lies in depression and oblivion. For with me, there are no impossibilities. Hold on to this truth. Whatever happens, do not forget that your life, your future, 
your character, your finances, your marital situation, your family conflicts, however difficult they may seem, I can change them. And if you ask me, I can start today. I'm not saying it will be easy. I'm giving you my promise that you have my help, my support, and my power. I love you, and I want you to be well always. The miracle you need, I want to and can make it happen. Believe me. Believe me. Walking with the cross on my back had a purpose, suffering the cruelest. I knew that one day, you would be born and go through a path of lashes and scorn. You have endured so much suffering caused by people. But today, I will remove all discouragement and frustration from your heart. I already suffered and gave my life and rose for you so you could have the opportunity for an abundant, free, and happy life. But believe my word, so that your mind can undergo a true transformation and a river of clean thoughts flows where there was once only confusion, where there was sorrow, there will be joy, where there was depression, there will be a strong desire to live, love, and forgive yourself. I have long since forgotten your mistakes. Give me your heart, my child. Let your eyes look at my ways. You will keep fighting and sowing in this world where you are a pilgrim. But my blessing is your destiny. I want your feet to walk on the path of my love. I ask you again, and very seriously this time, to give me your heart today, and I will fill you with joy. Remove those afflictions that have saddened your face and give you the strength to overcome the things that have been attacking you since your childhood. You know what I mean. You know what it is. I have loved you as you are. But I chose you to have victory, to conquer, to guide others on their path to their destiny, so that many can see how my will is done in someone like you, with a simple heart. Maybe it's difficult for you to accept so much spiritual richness. What I give you is not empty wealth. Accept it humbly and be filled with courage because I will bring many changes around you. I am your life. Give me the chance to show you that I can change you completely, so much so that many won't recognize you. They will marvel at the tenacity, the strength, and the happiness they see in you. Accept my invitation. Give me your heart today. I begin a powerful transformation in you. Your family and you will be surrounded by harmony, peace, and blessings. I will rescue you from the storm with victory in hand. I love you. And at this very moment, right where you are, I want you to feel it. Your heart is filling with this beautiful and profound emotion, which fills you with joy and banishes your sadness. Feel as the weight on your shoulders lifts, and there's a lightness in your step, a newfound strength to carry on. Stand up now, you cannot give up now that you're on the verge of triumph. Even when the storms rage and the winds shake you, under my wings, I protect you, and my hand guards you. I also know what pain is. I know what it feels like for those you trusted to abandon you. When enemies pierce your soul with the nails of hatred and tear your back with the whips of compassionless, I know what it's like to love unto death and give your heart even when met with disdain. I understand you. I know exactly what you're feeling. I want you to know that you do matter. That when your tears flow like a spring and your soul is filled with sadness and anxiety, I won't judge you for your moments of weakness. I want you to understand that only I can help you when danger looms. Remove thoughts of death and defeat from your mind when danger approaches. The darkness is gone. And now you can walk confidently. Today, I have renewed your joy increased your faith, written promises of trust in your heart, given you a new vision, a new longing built on my word. Don't waste your time trying to convince those who come to discourage you. They won't accept your perspective. They will mock you again. You don't need those mockers to move forward on your path. You are heading for victory. They are headed for defeat. They've already chosen their destiny. If you're attacked by loneliness, if you feel you need someone else's support, remember that you have me. But trust and be patient, for I will soon send the right person. You matter to me, I care for you. 
value you, protect you, love you. In a few more days, you'll have victory in your hand. I'm never late. I always arrive on time when you truly need me. At the best moment, the wait is hard. And you've been thinking so much about what might happen. It's tearing you apart on the inside. That's why I want you to give me all that weight you carry on your back with great pain. Living in distress over the future is not the life I have for you. You also can't lower your gaze or get distracted by your worries and thoughts. I have said that I will perform the miracle you ask of me, that I will open doors, that I am always with you, and I do not lie. The days are mine, I am the creator of the nights. I see that sometimes you can't sleep, tossing and turning, your mind racing over things that I already hold in my hands. When anxiety strikes, resist. When it screams in your ears, speak to it and tell it aloud that there is no fear in your heart because you have decided to trust in your best friend, in your God and Lord. You will see for yourself how fear flees and your soul is free from so much fear. You can enjoy my peace at last. Live your life fully and be happy. I am promising you that in the midst of your struggles, I will remind you with my serene voice that my hand is upon your shoulder and that against all attacks, I will give you the strength you need to resist. Tell me that you believe me and obey me. If I've convinced you to return to my word, fill yourself with my promises and believe in me. In those difficult moments you will encounter on your journey, you haven't fought so hard to give up now, you must keep going. I'm speaking to you today to fill you with faith, courage, and strength. To learn to wait for me even when it seems your strength is failing from waiting too long. Stay calm, talk to your heart and tell it that there's nothing to fear. The control of your life, your dreams, your destiny is in the hands of your loving Father. The winds of the world want you to forget those moments when I always helped you. But I command those winds and storms to stop right now. I love you, I will never fail you. And I won't be late. I'm here, ready to give you my hand and rescue you. Answer me with your heart. Who loves you more than I do? Your trials have been difficult. I see your struggles, your efforts, and your desperation. Do not forget that you have been very brave throughout your life. Think of the situations that seemed impossible to resolve, and yet you managed to overcome them all. Since the day you surrendered control of your life into my hands, you have not lost a single battle. So, rest your heart and continue to trust. I know that sometimes it can be difficult just to rest and not lose faith, especially when everything seems to be going wrong and conflicts come knocking at your door, trying to consume you entirely. But in those moments, my child, cover your ears to the voices of the enemy. Do not accept the threats of fear and insecurity. Keep walking and trust in my promises. You were deeply loved by me. And before you were even born, I already had something great in store for your life. Never will I abandon a defenseless child. I've been taking care of your life in a very special way. I am looking after every detail, every second. I am always present. Do not let sadness take up more space. Fill your heart with joy and keep walking with the eyes of faith because victory is certain, and what I have prepared for you is greater than you can imagine. I love you. Amen. My child, subscribe to the channel now. Share this video with your five contacts.